The European sovereign debt crisis escalating today substantially with the Wall Street Journal reporting European officials are discussing a bailout package of up to 100 billion euros for Ireland and aid from the IMF. Under tremendous pressure, uh, Irish Prime Minister Brian Cohen coming out firing back that Irish woes are driven by market uncertainty and turbulence. Uh, making uh, some statements uh, just uh, in the last half hour, uh, the Prime Minister saying that a four-year plan will be coming out. It will be clear and workable. Also hearing that Eurozone ministers will declare readiness to help Ireland if it asks for aid, that according to a Eurozone source, uh, to Reuters, uh, the Irish Prime Minister reiterating commitment to protect bank deposits and says it's important to find a credible, workable solution to really be able to get this uncertainty out of the markets. Uh, we've been watching what's been happening in the 30-year bond. It's been rising uh, one point right now, uh, rebounding from earlier lows. All of that really looks to be tied to what is happening on uh, this news that we are having come out of Ireland. We have Ed Rombach here uh, to talk about what next? I mean, you look at this big move in the 30-year bond. Where do we go from here? Well, Jan, this is like a replay of last spring. Remember when there was a flight to quality? Swap spreads, credit spreads were moving out, and treasuries were moving up. I say buy bonds now and wear diamonds in December because this train is leaving the station. All right, we have, think of it this way. The Fed right now is going to come under pressure to open up the currency swap lines, the European Central Bank and, and, and the other central banks. Do you think they will? Well, I, I no, there's, a, there's an environment here, right, where p people are trying to pull back on the dual mandate of the Fed and only to do one thing, to have price stability. So Bernanke might be, you know, playing his cards close to his vest and saying, gee, fellas, I don't know if I can do it this time. All right. In that, in that kind of environment, you're going to see a flight to quality into bonds. We're already seeing it today. And, and the pullback, the blistering sell-off in treasuries the past few days creates a tremendous opportunity to buy. I say buy bonds and wear diamonds in December. I'm going to pull out my diamonds. All right. All right. Ed, so what happens so with, you know, you're saying this is a movie that we've already seen before. We did it, you know, in the spring with Greece. We were all very concerned about contagion, and that's what everybody was talking about. Is contagion an issue this time around? Well, to uh, certainly uh, you have the, I mean, we, we, right now, uh, Greece and Ireland and Portugal are the, are the uh, countries in focus. They're the stars of the movie. The big enchilada is Spain. All right, if they, don't put a, if they don't create a firewall with those countries, that then you could have contagion to Spain. And then you have a real problem because Spain's a much larger economy. All right, so and then we have a uh, spillover effect uh, possibly over, over here. And right now it's just being uh, registered in, in, a, in, a, in, in the bid for treasuries in a flight to quality. All right, so it depends on, uh, on how the Fed reacts and how, uh, how the uh, European Central Bank reacts. Well, we're certainly seeing big reactions across the board. Uh, commodities, I mean, oil, crude futures uh, down 3%. Uh, copper fell out of bed. Uh, we have uh, right now uh, gotten a hit on the Mexican peso, extending losses, weakens 1.62%. Uh, we have the markets, uh, the uh, Dow and the Nasdaq, both down more than 1.7%. But we got Ed Rombeck saying this train has left the station on bonds and you should buy. Absolutely. Again, again, the dollar's up. Commodities down, stocks down, bonds were down, so who was the odd man out? Buy the bonds. All right, Ed Romback, thanks a lot. We're going to be monitoring this story for you for the rest of the day. Again, uh, news coming out uh, from Ireland uh, in just uh, recent uh, last half hour from the Irish Prime Minister there saying a credible, workable solution to remove uncertainty in the markets uh, is important. We'll see if it comes. I'm Jen Rogers. This is Reuters Insider.